bacteria both useful and harmful they form 90% of the cells of your body but you don't need to panic because most of them are the useful kind some are bad some are really really ugly these are the bacteria that cause really really horrible diseases usually the ones that are very infectious infectious or contagious they can pass from one person to another very quickly very easily a lot of the really bad bacteria used to kill a lot of people medicine has actually improved so much that lesser people die now but trust me these are none of the diseases that you would want to get the bad bacteria contaminate the air when someone coughs or sneezes water when someone defecates out in the open disgusting but true water and air things that you need to survive cholera is spread through contaminated drinking water while tuberculosis and pneumonia are spread by bacteria in the air now a disease that still frightens people is the bubonic plague you might have heard of that it's sometimes called the black death now this plague is caused by a bacterium called yersinia pestis it killed millions of people maybe half of the people living in all of europe you know during the 14th century huge number so plague bacteria was carried by fleas that live on mice and rats so mice and rats used to live everywhere people did at that time because there were no proper toilets people did not understand the importance of hygiene so these fleas bit the humans passed on the bacteria people got sick about 6 out of 10 people in the plague died 60% this plague is also called the black death and people died their faces used to turn black the bubonic plague is still there in the world but it's treated now or it can be treated now so it doesn't spread like before now i spoke about this plague for a particular reason i wanted to introduce you to the deadly carrier of the diseases vectors Whatever carries a pathogen from the host to a receiver is called a vector. It's like a courier doing you know the shipping part. Host is supposed to be nice, right? But this is not a nice host. A organism which gives a disease is called a host. So the disease initiator is the host, delivery agent is the vector. Now, for all infectious diseases you may not need a vector but you definitely need a host. What other bad bacteria do you got? You've got the family of Staphylococci, which causes acne, and then there is this little guy, H. pylori, who was evading our eyes for a long, long time. But he fell into the lens of two Australians, Robin Warren and Barry Marshall, and they put an end to the years of painful stomach ulcers that these little Helicobacter pylori were causing. H. pylori is found in the stomach of about 50% of all humans. In developing countries, almost everyone is infected. Infection is, you know, typically contracted in early childhood, and the bacteria may actually remain in the stomach for life. In most people, there are no symptoms. However, it can actually trigger ulcers in 10 to 15 percent of those infected, and these ulcers. are really really painful now warren and marshall showed that the bacterium h pylori plays a key role in the development of both stomach and intestinal ulcers now thanks to their work these ulcers are often no longer a long term frequently disabling problem they can now be quickly cured with a short term course of drugs or medicines and antibiotics in 1982 an h pylori was discovered by dr marshall uh, and dr warren stress and lifestyle was considered as the major causes of these ulcers now dr marshall proved that this bacteria caused gastric inflammation by deliberately actually infecting himself with this bacterium now it is firmly established now that the bacterium causes more than 90% of the intestinal ulcers and 80% up to 80% of the gastric ulcers it is thought that this infection can you know actually create an ulcer by stimulating increased acid production in the stomach leading to damage of the lining of the stomach or the intestine their work was so well appreciated that they were even awarded the nobel prize in physiology and medicine in 2005 If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now